It was time for the talking to stop, the action to start and the true pace of the teams to be revealed. Qualifying in Bahrain was underway. Before Quali, new team Hispania Racing had only run Bruno Senna's car, which meant rookie Karun Chandok had never turned a wheel. His first venture into F1 came in the highly charged session. He props up the grid, but was just happy to get out on track. I think the lap time was respectable, but uh, there's so many things we can improve on the car. I mean, I'm not even comfortable in the seat. My, my bum's off the bottom of the car. Best of the new teams was the Virgin Racing car of Timo Glock. And after plenty of problems and testing, he was relieved to be 19. Overall, I think uh, a positive first, first qualifying for us, and I hope we can finish the race tomorrow. Battling hard for his new Williams team, Rubens Barrichello was sitting pretty in the top 10. That was until his ex bron teammate knocked him out in the dying seconds. Jensen Button is 10th. I think it's a, it's a good place to start our first race where we, we're still not happy with our performance, but uh, uh, we have new tyres tomorrow. Hopefully that uh, can, uh, can give us something. One person smiling, though, was Force India's Adrian Sutil, who edged through, eventually qualifying in 10th. It wasn't the dream return for Michael Schumacher that many had hoped for. The seven-time world champion had to settle for seventh and was out-qualified by his teammate Nico Rosberg. The race is a long race. We'll see, and the year is even longer. The old Brit McLaren lineup had a mixed day with Button getting used to his new charge. He starts from eight, but Hamilton is pretty happy further up the field in four. Oh, absolutely overwhelmed with that position. I think that's great for us, a great starting point. And uh, I hope tomorrow we're going to just try and either keep the position or take one more if possible. It was getting better and better every lap I did out there, so I was, I was reasonably happy. But yeah, at the end it wasn't, uh, wasn't so good and, and something just feels a little bit wrong, so we need to look at that. Just when Ferrari thought they had the one-two, Sebastian Vettel blitzed through, claiming a stunning pole position. What a time there for Sebastian Vettel! Alonso starts from third and was out-qualified by the delighted Felipe Massa in second. After everything that happened to me uh, last year, I think it's a great comeback. Uh, I'm very happy and uh, I hope we can have a good start of the race. The lab was not uh, ideal, but it's the way it is. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy with third position starting on the clean side. So, over a second split Vettel from Hamilton in fourth, and the German was pretty surprised. We had uh, some new bits arriving last minute. The mechanics didn't get a lot of sleep, but, you know, everyone is extremely keen and pushing hard, and uh, it's the best, you know, answer you can give. So, Sebastian Vettel sits on pole with the Ferraris behind. Lewis Hamilton is the best of the Brits in fourth. It was a good day for Nico Rosberg in fifth, with teammate Michael Schumacher seventh, Button is eighth, and Renault new recruit Robert Kubica is ninth. Rookie Nico Hülkenberg is a respectable 13th, with returnee Pedro de la Rosa alongside. It was a bad day for Jaime Algeshwari, who could only manage 18th. The two Lotus cars start 20th and 21st, and the Hispania cars will start from the pit lane.